What can we expect, Connor, from the Volunteers and that Josh Heupel offense this season? This will be a really good time to watch this offense if you kind of tune them out in the latter half of 2021 or maybe you just tuned in for the bowl game. And if you tuned in for the bowl game against Purdue, which <laughs> depending on who you ask, um, the split decision on the winner of that football game, my guy Paul Feinbaum More says that Tennessee victorious. won it. Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Um, I do think that Tennessee is going to be phenomenal to watch this year on the offensive side of the ball. They have potential to have the number one offense in college football. And I realize Ohio State still exists. I realize Alabama still exists. They had a top 10 offense in the country last year, despite the fact that Hendon Hooker wasn't their QB one to start off the year. Joe Milton somehow won that starting job. So you look at the pieces that they're returning. Cedric Tillman's one of the best five receivers in college football. They have a loaded backfield with Jalen Wright, with Jabari Small. They return four starters in the offensive line. They expect big things out of Brew McCoy, the USC transfer, Jalen Hyde's breakout candidate. I'm going on and on and on. Tennessee's that good offensively. I don't know if they're going to stop a solo on defense, maybe bet the over, but they're going to be a fun team to watch. They're a great they're a great way to kind of kick off um, you know, the week one slate on Thursday night, yeah. being able to see that offense in action. I think they cover that spread against Ball State, even if it's a little bit of a slow start for the passing game and Hendon Hooker's got a little bit too much juice and he's overthrowing guys a la Joe Milton. 